Hey everybody, this is the E-Pad. Welcome back for more Pokemon Heart Gold. In the last part, we completed Sprout Tower and caught ourselves a Mareep, also known as Pharaoh. And... You're not Pharaoh! Oh my god, who are you? Okay. I gotta get some confessions out. This is a new Mareep. Um... After... Realizing and after editing uh, the video from last episode, I realized that the Mareep I caught... Uh, originally was a male uh, I did not want a male Mareep I had like a really good strategy to have a female Mareep because that's something I usually use in heart gold in particular it's really helpful uh, I think it's actually better in stats though than the uh, other Mareep because it's docile which means it's a neutral nature which means you know nothing really changes in its stats unless if I use a rare candy or any vitamins so yeah, that's pretty good too. Uh, as for what I, uh, you know, as for the levels and stuff, it's pretty much the same. Also, Seneca did level up a little bit uh, when I did some off-screen training. So yeah, and since we have completed Bellsprout Tower in this episode, we will be going through the first gym. Let's try it out. I guess I should have uh, uh, taken out the trainers before, but you know what? Why don't we take out at least? Why don't we take out the two? Uh, this gym is really cool in design. Uh, in the original game, it was pretty much a similar dollar sign, like how we're that that same platform that we're stepping on, except it was not really sky high as it is in this game. It's awesome uh, that they did that, and it's actually possible to actually skip all the trainers in this gym if you could easily see that there is uh, a clear bridge around. Ha! Sparrow. Seriously, anything that could hit Yami uh, with a multiple hit attack like Fury Attack, Fury Swipes, you know that you're screwed because you're probably going to get static right after that. Also, uh, yeah, I changed its na uh, nickname to Yami. Uh, like I said, I would from Yu-Gi-Oh! It sounds more better as a uh, female Pokemon. A lot of people might think that it's going to be based off of Okami. I realize that it's based off the uh, villain, but it's that's not what it's mainly supposed to do. Um, I guess since we're doing this, I guess I should uh, switch to Fyrus to actually take out... To level up just a little bit more from this guy, because I might as well do that. Alright, if you haven't guessed by now, this gym consists of flying Pokemon... Uh, I think every gym in this game, in the main story of this game, is different from Red and Blue being that it's, uh, you know, it, these gyms have not been used before. Alright, Fyrus, use some Ember. Alright, there's some decent moves. Ugh, Sand Attack. Oh god, I hate Sand Attack. Seriously, Sand Attack is like one of the most annoying attacks that has been made, and it sucks because... It's coming from ground Pokemon, which is one of the not that great of types. It's their only strategy move, which is even worse, so I don't know. I was never really a big fan of ground types or sand attack in general, but, uh... Eh, it's weird. I don't know. Anyway, let's check out what we have here. We have Pidgey. Uh, for those who haven't checked my Twitter out, I got my license, and I'm so happy to get it. I'm not really happy to find myself a car that I actually need, but I don't know. That's going to be kind of tough to uh, do, being that they all cost like over thousands of dollars. And <gasps> Fyrus is evolving! Oh my god! <laughs> we get ourselves Kawaba. Quava is one of my most favorite looking design Pokemon. I don't know, it's just so simple, but yet it's just interesting. The color scheme of it and the uh, flames on its head and back are just really cool. And speaking of interesting fire Pokemon, I want to be clear and honest that... I don't know about you guys, but... Fennekin is has got a lot of praise when, Black, when X and Y came out. But honestly... I find it to be the worst looking starter in that generation. 
it looks boring as hell. Oh, it's just not interesting enough. It's pretty boring. Okay, before we head off to fighting uh, this gym leader, look at the sky. We can see the sky right here. That's friggin' awesome in detail. Awesome. I love it. I'm Falconer, the Violet City Pokemon gym leader. People say you can clip flying type Pokemon's wings with a jolt of electricity. I will allow insults, insults to bird Pokemon. I'll show you the real power of the magnificent bird Pokemon. And we get to hear some awesome gym leader music like any other Pokemon gym leader theme is always awesome. I used to love this song a lot more than the original game, but uh... Or, or than Red and Blue, but I realized the Red and Blue or Kanto gym leader songs is like the best. Alright, Falconer, consisting of flying types. It has Pidgey with the ability Keen Eye, so don't try to lower its accuracy with Tackle and Sand Attack. In the original game, it has Tackle and Mud Slap. Uh, it's too bad it doesn't have Mud Slap in this game because it would definitely help against like these kind of Pokemon like Mareep. So, I don't know why they decided to take that out instead of replace with Sand Attack because it could learn Mud Slap in, in this game even, but I don't know. Maybe he thought it was going to be too hard or something. And, yeah, easily taking out uh, Pidgeot, Pidgeot, uh, Pidgey. Now we're going to take on his strongest Pokemon, Pidgeotto, with the ability Kenai, Tackle, Roost, and Gust. In the original game, it had Tackle, Mud Slap, and Gust. Uh, once again, it's kind of weird, but if you don't have, like, an electric Pokemon, this is going to be kind of easy. Especially if you really want a... You know, something that could help take on this gym. And if you have, uh... Or if you have an Onyx or Mareep in general. This gym shouldn't be that bad. Uh... With that new move that he just used called Ruse. It's one of the most very awesome attacks. Or very awesome strategy moves that I really like now. Is Roost. I'll explain it once we get the TM of it. And... <sighs> That's how awesome it is. If you're going to instantly heal with that. Yeah. It's a little bit tougher in this game, of course, but I don't know. It, it should have had Mud Slap, at least. And there we go. Pidgeotto is down. We level up to level 14. Awesome. And we learned Thunder Wave. I love Thunder Wave a lot. Ah, oh, it's so good. Okay. And we defeated Falconer. Piece of cake. Nothing too special about it. That's awesome. For pity's sake, my dad's cherished bird Pokemon, but the feat is the feat. <laughs> I guess you could say you're taloning. <laughs> All right, well, you know, let's let's just kill ourselves right here. Let's just kill ourselves right here, and we get the Zephyr badge. I always like that word, Zephyr. All right, when you trade Pokemon up to level 20, they will obey you without question, and it also enables you to use Rock Smash outside of battle. And no, this is not Rock Smash. This is... Where is it? Roost, which is what his Pidgeotto used. Roost is a move that heals uh, half of your HP, which is pretty awesome. Great for flying Pokemon. Uh, also really good for... Uh, let's go around here. Also really good for Pokemon in general who has wings. If you have, <laughs> Giving that to like a Dragonite is going to be like overpowered, to say the least. And check it out. Since we... After beating the gym, we're getting a call from Professor Elm. The details are, well, I can't really say anything, but we want you to carry that egg. My assistant is at the Pokemart in Violet City. Could you go meet him and pick up that egg? I don't know why it's at the Violet's... I don't know why it's at the Pokemart now, but... It is. That's weird. Alright, well, I guess before we head off, I guess I could just quickly heal. So yeah, we're almost done with Violet City right here. We get to go to... A few extra areas around Violet, and by extra areas, I mean one area. And is it seriously raining outside? Ugh. Even though I have my license, that doesn't mean I have a car. <laughs> and that means I still need to walk to the bus stop for college, and that means I need to get my shoes all muddy. And I don't like that, because these are new shoes. Ah. It's easy enough to compare them to my brand new shoes, which represents black and white. Uh, for, for those of you who know Barog the Master could easily know that analogy. Alright, so is this the guy? Long time to see, I've been waiting for you. This is from Professor Elm. The thing, we would like to take care of an egg. We would like to take care of an egg, and we get an egg! I'm, always, I'm still trying to like pace myself to uh, read these things. 
but it's weird because I, I'm looking at the computer screen rather than my DS. I don't know why, I'm just used to that. Uh, yeah, I'm used to that because all of my, uh, you know, let's plays I do is always recorded on a computer screen and not on the TV screen, which is why I do that. Good morning, Ishan. I have a package from you from your mom. I don't remember uh, the call from her. Maybe it was off screen training that happened, I didn't really pay attention to it. Uh, but yeah, if you have your mom have, uh, you know, save the money for you, she will buy you some stuff. Though, they are pretty cool stuff that she gets you. Uh, rather than just super potions, she also gets you revives, as well as some awesome berries. So, that's also good. Um, even though I don't really need the Pokeballs, I guess I'll just, like, get four. And then we can head off. Uh, super potions are already available, which is freaking awesome. Um... I don't think we... Well, let's just get two. I don't think I'll have too much trouble against uh, the route we're going at, going towards. Uh, two regular potions. And please tell me you guys have repels. Maybe. Possibly. We do have... Oh my god. I didn't think they had repels. Um, yeah, five is good. Because uh, we are actually going to head to um, a cave or a dungeon very soon. And, you know... In dungeons and Pokemon, there's no possible way to actually avoid wild Pokemon, so, yeah. I mean, besides the optional dungeon that I'm about to head to, I guess we could just check that out. Um, oh, wait, we get another interruption. Yeah, this game has a lot of good cutscenes, I guess. It is a remake, after all, I see. So it was handed from Pro Mr. Pokemon to Professor Elm, then from Professor Elm to you. Now I get it. It's a trading sequence. That egg is truly an important egg. Please do not... Please do take care care of it for me. Is that understood? Swirly twirlies. I'm counting on you. Bitch. Okay, let's go. <laughs> I don't know what that was about. Let's just... Uh, yeah. I like how it did ask me, like... Uh, if... Like, it didn't give me an option if I want to use it. I clicked that by accident just because... Alright, be before we head through Route 2 this time... Uh, why don't we... Well, what's today? Thursday? Wednesday? No, Thursday. Well, I don't think the guy's up there. Anyways, welcome to Ruins of Alf. Uh, before we head off, we're gonna do something pretty cool. Um, we're gonna... Well, just a second. Okay. Ruins of Alf is... I, I don't know. I, I like how this place looks. Uh, even in the original game, it was pretty simple. Uh, it all has like a very specific special Pokemon to get, and if you realize why I wasn't, like, focusing on the game, that's because I'm trying to get my stylus, because I don't have a built-in stylus right now. Even if I do, it won't work well. Alright. If you can see in the bottom screen, uh, we have a puzzle to do. I like the puzzle a little bit more in the original game, just because it, like, it's, uh, I don't know, I just like the sliding part instead. But this is okay, too. I mean, I guess it uses the, uh, the thing a little bit more like the, the, the bottom screen, but it's too easy, pretty much. Uh, if you haven't guessed what that Pokemon was, it was actually a Kabuto. They actually show, they actually tell you um what Pokemon, like the description of it was. And we get some very creepy music. Oh, did you come down from below? So you must have solved the Stone Pad puzzle. That is wonderful. You seem to have some talent with archaeology. I will give you the unknown report. It records unknowns as you capture them. I'm sure it'll come in handy. And we get the unknown report. Is it a really good report? Well, that is currently unknown to us. It's not that great. There's a strange presence here. Alright. Now, before we uh, head off and out, there's really nothing else here except for a wild Pokemon, who hopefully we'll meet up to, which is unknown. Unknown is a crappy Pokemon, to say the least. Its stats are crappy Beyond belief, uh, it's not that great of a Pokemon. Its design is pretty stupid too, but whatever. It's widely known for, uh, you know, having 28 forms, 26 containing uh, the letters of the alphabet, and two containing exclamation and question mark uh, marks instead. It's also famous for learning the move Hidden Power, which is the only thing it learns which is one of the most complex moves to learn in metagame. I have never used that move, and 
I don't know if I will, but I think it will come in handy at some points. Uh, before we head off to other parts uh, outside of this route, there was this panel right here that I should mention. It says escape. Basically, I don't think I have an escape rope, do I? Well, basically, I don't think I do. It, if you use what they're asking you to do, like if you have an escape rope and they're telling us to escape, use the escape rope uh, in front of that panel and the door will open where that panel was and it actually contains four items. They usually contain uh, uh, herbs, but it's pretty good. Other than that, there's nothing else for us to get because a lot of things are kind of uh, inaccessible for us. Uh, before we head to Route 32, yeah, I know, it gets kind of annoying to realize that it's... I'm always containing the same thing. And, oh, okay, so this guy is here. Every Thursday, we're meeting Arthur. Get it? I'm Arthur of Thursday. Here, take this. We get Hearthstone. It's so hard. As I said, as I picked up that rock. Okay, Hearthstone powers up rock-type moves. If you have a rock Pokemon, which is pretty good to have in this game because it's fourth generation, uh, I highly recommend giving that. Or you, can, or you can give it to any Pokemon who has a rock attack anyways. So yeah. Uh, that guy actually... You know, shows up every Thursday, and he actually has some friends, or I think siblings, that appear at other places as well, depending on what day it is. Alright, and you talk to this guy, if you beat the gym leader, you have some good Pokemon there. It must be from training you gave them around Violet City. Training at the gym must have been especially helpful. As a similar Violet City, take this, it increases the power of grass type moves, and we get Miracle Seed, yay, we get powers of... Two types, powers up grass attacks, which we don't have, and I don't think I'll be using that. Now that we're done with that, uh, next time in Pokemon Heart Gold, we'll be going through Route 32, covering the Pokemon here besides Marie, since we already caught that, and going through the first dungeon of the game, hopefully, okay? I'll see you all next time.